umpires are ready. And just to my right are the two batsmen, the openers for Germany, making their way out. And you could just hear the Austrian fielding team were there, making their way out to the middle now. And once again, good morning if you're watching on our YouTube channel, the European Cricket Network, or if you're watching on Fancode out in the subcontinent in India. Hope you're looking forward to watching some incredible international T20 cricket. Unfortunately, obviously this is only 19 overs this game due to the delayed start. A bit of a downpour here in Krefeld earlier on. But it's drying up now and we're almost, almost ready for what is set to be an exciting day of cricket once again. And we're almost set. And we should get underway for the first game here in Germany. And this is just... Extended back to the bowler. Good start from the Thwani. Right on the dot straight away. Tries to finish the first over. There's an appeal and he's got him. It's a great way to finish the first over here. As Mandy has to go. That's a good bit of work behind the stumps from Abravi Lal. And this is clips off the pad. Going to come through. It could be close. And he's got him. That's an absolutely incredible bit of work from the bowler off of his own bowling. Gets the run out. And Khan has to go. Incredible bit of work from Iqbal. And hits this well. There's a man out there, but I don't think he's going to get anywhere near that. It's going to be one bounce. It's going to be the first boundary here in the Sky Exchange German Tri Series. And it's Stanik Zai. Gets that front leg out of the way. Over the infield and it runs away. One bounce, four runs for Germany. Oh, that's a really good attempt from him in. He's furious with himself. Just seemed to hang in the air a little bit. He almost dived a bit too early. I think he's expected to come a bit quicker. You just see here, just hung in the air. And another appeal. Not given and they do eventually run through for the single. Be interested to see what this is given. This is a short and standing side goes big. And there is a man there, but it's over him, and it's going to be the first maximum of the Sky Exchange German Tri Series, and it goes to the home nation Germany. And Lino just rocks back and dispatches that to the square leg boundary. Four runs. Back to the action. It's going to be squared over the infield. And they eventually come back for the two. Bit of a misfield. It could be Oak, could be Buzzers here. But it's backed up in the end. It ends up being two runs. And he's gone. I think he's got him. He has. I think has to go. Again, really good work from the wicket keeper, Abd Abilal. Lightning quick hands behind the stumps. And he has to go. Well, this time, picks this one up well. And this goes all the way for six runs for Dylan Vigneault. Steps back and across. And pulls this into the leg side. Vigneault back on strike. Goes big into the leg side. And that's huge. That's gone out of the ground. That's six runs for Germany. And again, goes big into the leg side. This field is under it, but it doesn't matter as it flies over their head. Six runs for Germany. Is Zadran. And he's got him. And that, ch that, that change of angle clearly worked for him as Bligno has to go. 43 off of 32 deliveries. Germany are 92 for four. And again, just pushing it for pace. Right on the top of off stump. There's not much you can do about that. Played all around it in bet. He has to go. Germany are now 100 for six. And that's an edge. And it's a consecutive wicket. And it's another one for Zadran. And that's two in two now. And Germany have fallen to 100 for, for seven. It's in a good area, but it's played well into the leg side. It should just be one run. So he prevents the hat-trick ball, but a really good bit of bowling this so far from Javid Zadran. 
And this is flicked into the leg side. I think it's going to go all the way for a maximum. Six runs for Germany. Looks to go on the sweep. There's a man there, but it's over him. And it's going to run away. And it's going to be another boundary. Fly up, John. This is full again. And that's going to fly over my head. And that's going to be another six runs for Germany. Wow, and this looks like it's going to run away, and it is. It's going to be four runs to the total. This is a full toss, and it's flicked away. Time to perfection once again. It's going to be another boundary. So squares into the leg side. They're going to come back for two. And that's going to be, end up being the end of the over. As ends up going through the bowler. But that brings us to the end of... The first innings here in the first match of the Sky Exchange German Tri-Series and at the end of their 19 overs, Germany are finished up on 135 for seven. <laughs>
over cover, six runs for Abda Bilal. Uh, there's an appeal and he's got his man. And Mahim, Mameen has to go, looking to play this into the leg side. Squares himself up and it's a good take from the wicket keeper. Uh, it looks like there's going to be another one and he has to go, Iqbal. Again, this is just adding to what is already a bit of a poor situation for Austria now. So, just a one off this over, one delivery remaining. And he looks to go big, but he doesn't get anything on this. It's a bit of an outside edge. And it falls to that man, Walter Bear. And that brings an end to Mr. Hassan's innings. He has to go nine off of 17 deliveries. Uh, there's a man there and it's picked out the tallest man on the pitch, Walter Bear and Bilal. And he should have been gone three balls ago. And the previous ball managed to split the fielders, but this time finds the fielder and he has to go. This is Fuller and this is hit well. There is a man there. It's on all the way. Six runs for Austria. And he looks to go big into the leg side. It's going to take some catching. And he does well. And uh, Just as I was thinking that Badathi hasn't taken a wicket yet. He goes ahead and does so. Uh, and this is chipped up. It's going to be a good catch if he can get there. And the skipper makes it look comfortable in the end. And it's going to bring the loss of the ninth wicket. As Rufani has to go in Austria, they find themselves 81 for 9 now. And he looks to go big, doesn't get all of this, it's going to take some catching again. And that's the game. As that brings us to the end of the first game. It's a good catch again in the deep by Muslim Yashraf. And Austria, after a good start, end up collapsing. And that they finish 81 all out off of 15.3 overs. They gave it a good go to start with, but it wasn't enough as Germany, they are the winners by 55 runs in the end. So, handshakes all round, good performances from a good amount of players.